Hi, everybody. My name is Leah Gropo. I'm one of the dietitians and diabetes educators at Stanford Healthcare. Today, I really wanted to talk about our diabetes prevention program. So this is something that we're so excited to offer at Stanford. It is a long-term behavior change program. So it's actually a year with a Stanford uh, diabetes educator um, and a great group and cohort of other people. So today I'm presenting on behalf of the diabetes care team. So I wanted to give a little bit of background. What is the diabetes prevention program? And maybe a little bit about why Stanford is so interested in offering it here. So it's something that is evidence-based. Um, they've had cohorts running ever since 2002. So they have a lot of data and really know that it's a format that works for people. Um, it's very lifestyle focused. So it's long-term solutions based on something that's a little bit shorter and just information um, given. It's more around how do we create meaningful lifestyle changes? And then also how do we really focus on kind of um, getting over those barriers as we make those changes? So it's a lot of support. Um, it really focuses on everybody being within the group cohort that is together for the year. And so it really helps kind of build those relationships. Um, the goals for the program really are weight management. So in general, around maybe 5 to 10% weight loss over the year. Um, and then adding in physical activity, 150 minutes of physical activity um, each week. So we don't start there, many people do not, um, but we really wanna sort of build into that. And the group really focuses on kind of how to do that. Um, and then really thinking about what is our main overall objective? It's to reduce the risk of type two diabetes. So we go in maybe with pre-diabetes and we really want to stay in that pre-diabetic range or even get out of that range. So that's really the goal. And this is where the evidence-based part is so important because really this program has been shown to help people not convert to type 2 diabetes. Um, and even for the longer term, so in a 10-year follow-up study, um, people were still one-third less likely to convert to type 2 diabetes over a decade, which is really great data. So who qualifies for this program? Um, so people who are adults, so 18 years or older, people who are considered overweight in their classification. Um, if you're not sure about this, you can also ask your physician. Um, people who are not already diagnosed with type one or type two diabetes, and then people who are not pregnant. So this is kind of a group for, if you've had gestational diabetes, that's um, also fine to be in, but not actively pregnant. Um, and then you want to make sure that you have a diagnosis of prediabetes. So that could be off of a hemoglobin A1C of 5.7 to 6.4 or a fasting blood sugar um, of 100 to 125. Um, so what are some other classes? Maybe this is not something that you feel you would qualify for or maybe the year long, it feels a little bit daunting. Um, we have other classes at Stanford Healthcare. So we have a core concept series one and two um, and card counting that people can go to. Typically people already diagnosed with type two diabetes. We have a standalone pre-diabetes class that's two hours where we give a lot of information around how to prevent converting to type two diabetes, um, which you can ask your doctor to refer to REF 30. And then we're now launching the Diabetes Prevention Program for the ref 30 a which is that year-long program that I had just talked about. Um, we have online diabetes education you can ask about where we can send you modules um, through your MyHealth. And then we also have our wellness webinars that we'd love for you to check out as well. Um, they're the second Thursday of the month from 5 to 6. You can find that on our website. So we also wanted to talk about just finalize like a couple of key takeaways from this presentation. Stanford Healthcare has diabetes education. Um, we have a robust program. We have individual and group sessions. We also have pre-diabetes education, our prior standalone class, which was um, a one-time class, and we're now launching our diabetes prevention program, which is our year-long um, diabetes education for pre-diabetes that is evidence-based. 
Um, if you want to find out more information, you can go to the website that I have below. We'll also link it in the notes. Um, so you can find out about all of the other resources that we provide and offer. I just wanted to say thank you so much for listening to this mini talk around pre-diabetes pre and diabetes prevention program. Um, we're really thrilled to have you um, engaged and we hope that we can provide some diabetes education if that sounds like it fits for you. Thank you.